In this video, we will be reminding ourselves of the mental calculation strategies that you can use if you are solving an addition or subtraction question in your head. The first one is counting up and down. This is a very simple mental calculation strategy, but very effective when used correctly. If you are adding or subtracting small amounts, for example, one digit numbers, you may choose to count up and down in your head because this would be the most efficient strategy. Here is an example of something I would do in my head. I would not draw this, I would simply be doing this in my head. 345 add 7. I would put 345 in my head and then I would count up 7 times in my head until I got to 352. My top tip for this strategy is to only use it if you are adding and taking away small amounts. If you use this strategy for larger numbers, it would not be efficient. The strategy that you may choose to use is rounding. This could be rounding to the nearest 10, rounding to the nearest 100, or rounding to the nearest 1000, depending on the numbers. The reason you may choose to use this strategy is that it would make the numbers easier to complete and then you can take or add away the extras afterwards. I have two examples for you. My first is a subtraction example. 563 take away 19. I wouldn't use counting for this because 19 is quite a lot larger than a one digit number. However, I also know that 19 is very close to 20. So I would round it up to 20. In my head, I would do 563 take away 20, which is 543. Then I would add the extra one on because I'm not taking away 20, I am taking away 19. So my final answer is 544. My other example is an addition one. 234 add 41. Rather than counting up 41 times, I have rounded my number down to 40. I can do 234 add 40 in my head really easily. The answer is 274. Then all I need to do is add the extra one so that I'm adding 41. This gives me 275. The final mental calculation strategy is partitioning. For this strategy, you would want to use it when you have much bigger numbers. All you need to do is split the numbers into thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. I have 3456 add 4232. In my head, this strategy would be really tricky to count or to round. Therefore, partitioning is much easier. I can easily figure out that 3000 add 4000 is 7000. I also know that 400 add 200 is 600. I can easily work out that 50 add 30 is 80, and I know that 6 add 2 is 8. I now have four separate answers. The answer to the thousands added together, the answer to the hundreds added together, the answer to the tens added together, and the answer to the ones added together. All I need to do to finish this strategy is add those four answers to give me my final total. 7,000 add 600, add 80, add 8 gives me 7,688.